Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back. This is Austin Linney with the Construct Your Life podcast, Wednesday rant, no script, no guests, just a little thought I want to share with you. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out to you how to add value. This is a really interesting topic. Um, I believe it's one of the most important topics is how it's got me to where I've been by adding value to investors, um, business people that are greater than me. And the reason it's on the top of my mind today is I don't think people know how it actually works. And I don't think people are out for themselves. Um, and I don't think they're approaching it in the right, in the right segment. So I'm going to walk out a blueprint around it as I find this to be one of my special skills. And the reason it's really on the top of my mind is, is I had a, uh, a young kid reach out to me from the podcast. Um, he asked uh, for some coaching. Um, what he could do to add value. I told him, no, I only take, uh, you know, paid clients. And then uh, he kept uh, getting at me and he kept saying, no, I'll work for you. I'll do what you do. So I said, listen, deal, let's do it. So, uh, you know, he was relentless with it and he, so I'm going to coach him for free and he's going to work for the company and we're going to teach him real estate. And, uh, you know, I'm going to introduce him to all these top investors and he's going to be able to sit in meetings that he's never been in before. And, and it's really going to change his life. And, 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 you know, I told him, I said, you know, I'm not handing you an opportunity. You created this opportunity. Now it's up to you to stay around and I can't control that. So he's going to prove it with his work ethic or he's not. And there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm going to tell you a couple of stories and I'm going to share my insights on what I think is the real way to, to get into rooms, to get into meetings, to get into uh, environments, because uh, proximity is power. I believe proximity is everything. If you're in a group uh, of five people and four of them are millionaires, the, the fifth person is bound to become a millionaire um, just because water finds its level. Um, so I'll share a story with you, uh, one of my favorite humans in the world. Uh, his name is Templeton Walker. Uh, this is how I met him. Um, he's a very, very busy guy, and he's super family-oriented. So um, he was on our call in the Rich Life Academy with Matt A. and I loved his energy, and I said, you know, I'm going to meet that guy. I said, I don't know how, but I'm going to meet that guy. So I, I followed him on Instagram. I DM'd him. We talked a little bit. Nothing crazy. Um, and then I saw he was coming out to San Antonio, and I'm like, oh, I'm in San Antonio. Like, why are you coming out here? I texted him. Like DM'd him and he's like, oh, my brother lives there. Like, blah, blah, blah. if you're around, like you can meet up with us. No big deal. Um, well, I was at work at the time and I saw that he was at a restaurant having cocktails and lunch. Uh, and it just so happens that my buddy ran that restaurant. He was the GM. So I texted my buddy, who's my best friend. And I said, hey, I want you to go. There's this guy wearing a black hat with this red thing on it. Uh, and he has a shirt that says this. And I want you to buy the entire table around or whatever they're drinking. Um, so that cost me like 60 bucks and he called me and he's like, dude, what the hell? That's ridiculous. Why would you do that? And how did you do that? First of all? And I said, I, do, I, I, I know all the tricks. Don't worry about it. So he's like, all right, well, when you get off work in two hours, like come hang out with us. I want to meet you. So I, I come over, I meet him. We sit down with me, we take a picture. Uh, I had to work all weekend. So I, I didn't hang out with him that weekend, but that, that's how that happened. And, uh, about three weeks, a month later, uh, I said, uh, Hey, I really want to come out there and follow you on my dime. Can I come out there and can I just follow you around? You're crushing in business. I want to be near you. And he said, sure. So this was supposed to take place in October. Uh, October comes. I'm too busy. I can't. He blows me off. November comes. I'm too busy. He blows me off again. Hey, sorry, I can't do it. Uh, December comes. Hey, I can't do it. You know, I just can't. And so what happened was about December second or something i just bought a plane ticket to arizona uh, and i texted him a picture and i said i'll be there january 6th clear your schedule <laughs> and he's like all right deal you can follow me around for the day we got, i got one day let's do it um so we met up at the gym that morning and uh because i follow him instagram i knew that he liked cadillacs so um what i did is i went out on this website and found a 1968 
Cadillac DeVille, suicide doors, exhaust, 20 inch rim, sound system. This baby was sweet. I mean, just nasty. And uh, when I went to go ride with him for the day, I, uh, I pulled up to his office in that car and he lost it. I mean, he was like, what the F, this is crazy. And he said, why would you do this? And I said, because I want you to know when I leave today, who I am and that you remember me, you know? Like, there's a lot of people out there that want these people's time. There's a lot of people out there that want five minutes of their time. And as you climb up the ladder, these people are busier and busier and very um, protective with their time. So you have to find space. You have to create space. You have to create the opportunity. Um, and I did that. And so he tells the story at a meetup, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so that happens. And so like we have a great visit and then wound up what happening is that afternoon when we were sitting down reflecting on the day, like I single-handedly had one of the most important conversations in my entire life with him for an hour uh, about real stuff, about marriage and, and money and who I was as a person and everything. Like literally a conversation that in 50 minutes I was crying and like changed my entire perspective on life. Um, it, was, it was through that day that I stopped seeking validation uh, for other people's opinions because it didn't matter. He explained that to me and it really set me free on my own path to really uh, have the trajectory that I've had now. And, and, and fast forward, um, we have another conversation, um, you know, uh, about three months later that changed my life again. So just two of these most important conversation uh, by, by adding value, by, by always showing up, by, by, by over, overselling myself, basically just, just making sure that he remembered who I was. And, 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 you know, now I'm about to move to Scottsdale and, you know, we're going to be working together. We're going to be doing some deals together. And it just goes to show you that like, if you truly want to stand out, like, are you doing enough? And what I'll do on the back end of this is I'll, I'll tell you what value really is. I'll show you. I did the same thing, by the way, with Matty A. We were DMing a lot. Uh, he's now a close personal friend of mine. He said, listen, I got 20 minutes, 15 minutes. That's all I got. So I literally got on a plane and flew to Sacramento uh, to have coffee with him and, uh, and met him. And uh, that conversation wound up going for an hour. And, but, but, I, but I put in the effort and I was there and I showed up on time and, and like I always gave him effort. I, I helped him with Airbnb like for free and all this stuff. So what I'm trying to say to you is like when you're in a situation, because I was with the Jake and Gino guys yesterday and they've got some interns and I basically gave those guys a master class on how you get a job here. And how you get a job there is you have to look at the person who you're working for or somebody bigger in the company and you have to say, what are their pain points? What are their pain points? How can you, it's not my job. Yes, it is my job to have direction for you as a boss, but it is not my job to tell you how to do your job or what job you need to be doing. You have to be assertive enough to look at yourself. You have to be assertive enough to go, you know what? That looks like a pain point for him. Let me remove that. Oh my God. You remove that pain point for me? That's amazing. I feel so much lighter. Okay, great. Well, what else can you take off my plate? Because what you have to understand is these people, especially these big time investors, they're control freaks. I'm a control freak, but I have stripped my ego away and I don't, I don't do it much. So the, you, ha you have to earn the right to pull that off their plate. So you have to do it with no not wanting anything. You're just basically saying like, hey, how can I get in a room with these people? What value can I add? Don't ask them to pick their brain. Don't ask them to coffee. Like if they offer, great. But don't ask them to take them to lunch. They don't care about that stuff. What they care about is action, like doing what you say you're going to do, showing up on time, going above and beyond. And then, you know, sprinkle in a little of like, hey, this is, you know, something special that I see that you like. Here's that. And that's that little extra hospitality and that little extra, you know, impact that you're going to leave with them. And so don't show up asking what's in it for you. That's not how it goes down. It's not how it goes down. Not at all. No chance. Show up, open ears, keep your effing mouth shut and just keep your head down and add value and value. And then you're going to wake up one day and you're going to realize that you created the opportunity that you're in. I mean, I looked at those interns yesterday at Jake and Gino and I'm like, you're, you're getting to learn from one of the best teams in real estate. And they have like 
you know, thousands of units and the systems and property management. I mean, what a tool to be able to be on those conversations with investors, brokers, all that kind of stuff. You can't get that access, but you have to get yourself in the door and you have to ask yourself what it, what it's not in it for you. It's for them. How can you add value? And adding value is selfish is selflessly. You, you just have to go in and work. And if you don't have a girlfriend, you don't have a job, you don't have, I mean, sorry, you don't have a, a marriage and you're whatever, like, you can work. So work more, like work harder. Like, do you really want it? Like you have to ask yourself, do you really want it? Because when I took my private equity job, you know, I started being in conversations uh, where deals were nine, eight, 10, 20, $40 million. And the amount of knowledge that I learned from that job alone, um, just being in those conversations, I, you can't, you can't buy that stuff. It's, it's just amazing. You just can't buy it. And everybody's worried about what's in it for me. I got to get here. I got to get there. I, I told Templeton, and I mean this in my heart, I will show up every damn day at 8.30 in the morning and I work for free every day because I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that you're going to hire me. I'm not going to give you an option. Like I am not going to give you an option. And you say, oh, well, Austin, you have investments and you have money. Well, dude, then go work at night. I don't know. But like, that's an excuse. That's an excuse. Again, you're young. You're hungry with our wholesale company that we're, that we're, that we have going in Arizona and launching. I'm only hiring young people. I'm all, like, and don't get me wrong. We might hire some old soldiers that they want to come on, but I want young guys. I want hungry young guys, but guess what? They're going to have to earn it. They're going to have to earn the right. And I will give you all the tools necessary. I will introduce you to all the people, but my standards are amazingly high. And, and I'm going to push you to be great. And if you can't handle that, then don't be around me. It's as simple as that. Don't be around me because I don't negotiate anything in my life. I've got coaching, multiple businesses, Ironman training. I don't got time for your bullshit. So leave your drama at home, keep your mouth shut, add value on top of value on top of value. And you don't understand the stepping stones of how I got to where I was, right? And you may not see that because you're in the moment, but I guarantee you, if you show up and you keep showing up for these people and you do what you say you're going to do, you know, you get to work on a flip or something for free, like stop worrying about how much money you're making or the dollar amount you're going to make on that deal. I'd much rather take the education and the proximity of being in the room than, than worried about how much I'm making in the beginning. Cause that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Live with three of your friends, sleep on the couch. It doesn't matter. That's how bad I want it because I want to give back. How bad do you want it? So I hope that helped. I'm sorry. I get fired up about that subject because it matters to me because it's how I've got to where I've got. It's how I've been in rooms with people that blow my mind out of my body. And everybody goes, I don't understand. Your network's crazy. It's because I added so much value to all these people with no expectations. That's how. So make sure that you're doing that. I hope you enjoyed this. Man, I got fired up on that one. Maybe I could have got more fired up. Y'all have a great day, guys. Thank y'all so much for listening. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.